Welcome to a walkthrough of Agamba. Agamba is a workflow tool for teams and organizations that can help you achieve transparency and effective collaboration. In this walkthrough, we will take you through the various views and functionalities of Agamba and show you how you can visualize and build up your projects. This way, you can use Agamba to approach a project from various angles and make the best uh, priorities possible. The story map. A creative way to start is to begin with the story map, mapping out your ideas like a mind map. You can build it up like a map of the user journey, mapping out the experience you expect the user or customer of your product to have from left to right, and then fleshing out what needs to be done to achieve that in story form below. You can also build it up more thematically, grouping the work that needs to be done in folders and breaking down large epics into smaller stories. You can view each branch of the map as a tree structure, linearly, or as a deck of cards to flip through. The story map, you can write down the objectives behind the stories and risks connected to them, as well as keep a list of the stakeholders or user personas that will use what you are developing. In this way, you can keep track of these types of connections with your stories. While the story map is a good place to begin mapping out your project, the other views provide the necessary time perspective. In the roadmap, for instance, you can keep track of your long-term plans and deadlines and compare them to any of the milestones within the project. For each project, you can create multiple roadmaps. If you want to highlight different aspects of the project to stakeholders, decision makers or teams. The outline, you are provided with a more detailed view of your planning, highlighting the time perspective at the top with sprints and releases, visualizing how each story below is planned. Agemba is most of all a tool that helps you prioritize your work. Much of this planning is done in the product backlog. Here, all the stories you have created will be listed to the left side where you can plan them into sprints or releases that are to the right and even into Kanban lanes. Nothing is static here. You can always change as you get to know more. But once you're done planning your items or stories into Kanban lanes or sprints or releases, the team can begin executing the tasks that have the highest priority. And that happens in the tactical backlog. The circle map provides an overview of your entire campus site or your organization for this matter. This is where you can keep track of multiple projects or map out your whole organization like a value stream with, for instance, customers listed out to the left, then the teams servicing the customers next to that, and the other internal teams next to that. At the top, you can have the management circles, and then to the right, you can have the suppliers. The purpose of each circle can be described within the circle um, as a manifest. And you can also handle delegations or simply share work between circles by creating relations between them. Whether you need an overview of the entire site or one specific circle, the dashboards are where you find all that information accumulated. A multitude of customizable dashlets allow you to see information that is most important for you. Information such as the latest activities, stories that you follow, and stories that are assigned to you. Agemba also has the functionality for handing feedback. This feature makes it possible for each circle to receive comments, requests, and ideas from other circles in the organization and also its own clients, simply by sharing a targeted link. With this functionality, you can keep close personal contact with your customers and users and integrate their feedback seamlessly into your projects.